Hey guys, how you doing? It's your guy TP, the Fat Loss Coach. The one's gonna take it to the promised land. I wanna one say thank you to all my viewers who are watching this. I um, love what I'm talking about, love about how I help them get to their goals. So I love you guys when I say that first. So I believe you because I am you, because I did lose over 100 pounds. I was like you, wanna quit, wanna throw in a town, wanna to give up, say why, who cares? It's not working for me, all right? So you guys can do it, all right? So today's topic I wanna to talk about is this little thing right here that we hate. Ooh, the scale. The scale, I just wanna throw it right now. So the scale. So the scale. It's tricky because we have two types of people with the scale. You have your obsessor, people who are obsessed with the scales. Me, I was a person that was waiting to scale every dang day. I get up in the morning, I jump around it. And then you have your avoider. So somebody that avoid the scale to where I don't want to step on a scale. I'm on my weight loss journey. You ask how much you lost, girl. I don't know. I ain't stepping on it, right? So those type of people, but I will talk about that in another video. You go to a different video on the avoider and the obsessor. But I want to talk about when, okay, and how to measure yourself on a scale, all right? It's very important to understand that when you weigh yourself, okay, is the most important thing if you wanted to calculate your measurements, if you want to be fair. Give example. Is it the same thing if I'm running, all right, in a windy, it's a windy day, okay? Shout out to, to Chicago people, windy. And you're running a 40-yard dash. The wind is going against me, all right, and I run and I, and I clock a number. Now, if I do it again and the wind is going with me, okay, I'm going to have a different number. Why? Because the circumstances is different, right? The wind is different. So it's hard to measure if you're actually really that fast and not that fast. It's the same concept with the weight. So you have to make sure that you make it fair for yourself. And one thing that I did and what I do for my clients or people that I mentor is every Saturday morning, first thing in the morning, you weigh yourself. All right, why? Because in the morning you have no food, or right? you haven't drunk anything. So doing it every Saturday morning, it'll give you the accurate, all right, time and day so you get so you can have a clear understanding of your week. Example. If I if I go to scale Saturday morning, all right, and when I was 350 something pounds, and it'll say 352, right? And next Saturday I would get on a scale at the same time, same time, all right, or at least before I eat anything. And let's say from 355, I lose three pounds, 352. So what I can do now, at least what the scale did for me is, now I can measure my activity. I can see, okay, how did I lose that three pounds, Terrence? Okay, I, I went to the gym, okay, five times. Okay, I ate these type of foods. All right, I, I said no to that donut or I didn't go out to eat with my friends like I usually do. So now I can look at my activity. Now it's up to me if I'm willing to repeat it because I know how to lose three pounds. So again, it's about are you willing to do it again and repeat it, all right? Now, if you weigh yourself Saturday morning, all right, and then next weekend, week, you weigh yourself Saturday night, it's going to be hard to determine because, yes, Saturday morning I was 355, but Saturday night I might weigh and be 358. All right, why is that? Because I drink one, a gallon of water a day. Okay, a gallon of water is around eight pounds. So I'm drinking eight pounds of fluid all right, in my body. All right, I have food that I'm eating throughout the day on that Saturday. So yes, I might have a, a, a higher weight on that Saturday night compared to that Saturday morning. All right, I hope it makes sense, guys, what I'm saying. So that's why you wanna make sure that you wanna weigh around the same time, same day. All right, so at least you can be fair and you won't get pissed off if you don't see your weight chain or you won't throw in a towel because you're not seeing the number that you want. All right, and again, guys, all this little ugly thing right here we call the scale that we hate, the job of the scale is just to measure your activity. I'm gonna say it again. The job of the scale is just to measure your activity. Same thing when it comes to a jump shot, all right? A court, what's gonna do is, if I'm dribbling a basketball, me and another guy, we're dribbling, cool. But we're not knowing who's really good at jump shot until we have a, a, a court, until we have something to aim to, right? Now I'm knowing because of a court, if I shoot, I'm off maybe. But now I know, okay, my elbow's out. Bring it in. Okay, maybe my um, trajectory is off. Now I make some changes and now I can hit the jump shot. Same thing with the scale. Maybe you gain two pounds for the week. 
Fine, who cares? Let it go. All you did was find out what worked and you found out what didn't work. What you found out was what things you did or didn't do that will make you gain two pounds. That's it. That's it. Okay? So use the skill to monitor you. Now the skill is not the only way you could to measure your, your results. You have measurements, you have pictures, all right, you have clothes. All right, one thing I used to do was I used to put a tighter fitting clothing on, clothing on a shirt, and I'll put that on every two or three weeks, and now let me know and see the inches of my body. So again, guys, I just want to kind of give you a nugget to help you guys out for people, uh, maybe just like me, get on a scale and just uh, go into a phone or maybe get depressed because you're not seeing the number you want to see. Stay in the game, stay in the fight, because I'll remember, you cannot score if you're on a sideline. So stay in the game, all right? All right, guys, you want to go to my website, okay, to tpexperience.com. Um, Definitely want to get my book. All right, I tell people you can't run the, you can't play the game if you don't know the plays. Let me say it again. You can't run the plays if you don't know the, if you don't know how to run the play. So the book, Play by Play, all right, again, I'm going to teach you, show you how it's over 100 pounds, nuggets, a whole bunch of principles, you're going to be a weight loss pro or a fat loss pro, so you want to make sure you get that. Please again, like, subscribe, okay, to it, all right, I'm going to give you workouts, all right, I'll give you a lot of cooking recipes, smoothies of the week, all right, and a lot of good things like this to prepare you, all right, for maybe upcoming tragedy or how to keep you in the game, keep you motivated, all right. Go to my Facebook page, the TP Experience, like it, you want to subscribe, I have a newsletter, I'm always giving videos, motivation, recipes, you want to make sure you get that. And last but not least is my fitness page, all right, on Facebook. TP Experience Fitness Challenge page. All right, I got people on there all across the world. They take pictures of themselves when they have a selfie as a workout, to take pictures every time they maybe eat a meal. All right, so I'll give you a lot of meal ideas. You got people just like you. Maybe you can relate to her maybe more than me because maybe she from where she you from. Maybe she have three kids like you. So again, it's all about, about relating to each other. One thing I know we can relate to, guys, is that we all was in that same weight loss struggle and we all want what we want, which is our confidence, our happiness, all right? So again, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll definitely see you next time on the TP Experience YouTube page. Let's go.